I think I got rid of the other two books in my last unhaul, so we're just getting rid of the final one now. everybody it's your girl Jay and today I am here with yet another unhaul video if, if you are new to this channel then you don't know this at the end of every month I unhaul a bunch of books most of these books are books that I gave three stars or less which means that I send them back off to the thrift store because I don't need them on my shelves so that's what the majority of these are so without further ado let us get started the first book I have was very 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 disappointing to me it is Infinity Sun by Adam Silvera. I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. I really wanted to like this. I didn't have the highest expectations for it because everybody gave it very low ratings when it first came out. So I didn't really think I was going to enjoy it, but I was hoping I was going to because phoenixes, but there's barely any phoenixes in it, so it really sucked and I was not happy. Next is The Companion by Katie Allender. I gave this 3 out of 5 stars. It was just very average. It's a thriller book, but it's not very thrilling. It's very slow paced and just a little bit boring and I hated the romance in it so yeah three out of five stars so it's going to the thrift store next is nowhere but here by Katie McGarry this was actually my first Katie McGarry book which I own so many of her books but never actually picked them up so this was the first one I did and it was again just very average nothing exciting happened I didn't really care that much and it's actually like 480 pages or something ridiculous for a contemporary book I lied it's 494 pages so almost 500 pages for a contemporary book could have been cut down so much and still got the same story across so it just kind of dragged so going to the thrift store. Next book is Kids of Appetite by David Arnold and I was really excited to read this book because David Arnold wrote Mosquito Land which I absolutely loved reading which I really loved when I read it in like 2018 or 2019 I believe so I wanted to read another one of their books but this one is just super weird and I don't know if I just like didn't understand the depths of it but it was just very average to me I was kind of bored throughout most of it and I kind of wished that the main character was one of the side characters so yeah another just super average read so off to the thrift store the next one I have is Under Shifting Stars by Alexandra Latos. I gave this one two out of five stars. I hated both of the main characters and just couldn't connect with anybody in the story. And the one main character is neurodivergent. I'm pretty sure she's autistic. I think it just says neurodivergent, so it's never actually like distinctly labeled. But I'm pretty sure that they are on the spectrum. The way that they're treated by their parents just really bothered me. They're treated like they're like a child. They're supposed to be like 15 or 16, I believe. Maybe 14, but they're treated like they're five so I just was not a fan didn't like it so I think I gave this two out of five stars so off to the thrift store next is one that I gave three stars it is love from a to z by sk alley I think I didn't enjoy this honestly because I had read so many contemporary books in a row that this just kind of felt like the same story again so I think that it was my own fault because I know that a lot of people really enjoyed this book I just was not one of them but again I think it's my own fault. Next book, Promise Bound by Anne Greenwood Brown. This is the third book in the Lies Beneath trilogy, which is about killer mermaids, but honestly, the first book is the only one about killer mermaids, and the second and third one kind of suck. I gave this a two out of five stars, was not a fan, it was not good. The main character, Lily, just turned into a whiny baby, and Calder, the main mermaid dude, was annoying. It was like Twilight reversed roles with mermaids instead of vampires, and just not not a good time, so. The next book I have is The Reformed Vampire Support Group by Katherine Jinx. I hated this book. I gave it a 1 out of 5 stars. It was terrible. If I could have given it a 0.5 on Goodreads, I would have, but yeah, it was not good, and it, I... I struggled to finish it. All of the characters are super unlikable and I just didn't give a shit about literally any of them. So not a good time. And then the final book I have is because I have duplicate copies of it. It is Reverie by Ryan Lasala. It came in like this box. It's my ARC copy of it. But I have another copy of it. I actually really liked this book. I think I gave it a 3.5. But it's really good so definitely check it out. But I just don't need two copies on my shelf. So that's the only reason this one's going. Alright everybody, so that was my unhaul for this time around. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!